If you're a project manager, you're most likely using ChatGPT already to write emails or write LinkedIn posts. But did you know that you can also use it for non-content related things? In this video, I'm going to show you five creative ways of using ChatGPT as a project manager. Let's get started. Meetings can easily take a huge part of your day, and this doesn't even include the time that you spend preparing for the meeting and then the things that you have to do after the meeting. With Tactic, I can have the full transcript during the call and then after the meeting, I'll be able to generate AI summaries and action items using ChatGPT. And it's so easy. It's literally clicking just one button. Another time-consuming task for project managers is brainstorming and the research process. Depending on the project, it can sometimes take 30 minutes or three hours. So how am I using ChatGPT to speed up the brainstorming process? First thing that I would do is start with a specific topic or problem that I'm trying to solve. I will say to ChatGPT, you are an SEO specialist that will help me brainstorm the best topics for a blog around team meetings. I will then go into a keyword tool like Surfer SEO so I can do further research on the actual data around the topics that ChatGPT suggested. The third thing that ChatGPT helps me with is creating documentation. Most of the time you actually have the process in your head already, but it just needs to be written down step by step. I use ChatGPT in two ways. First, if it's a completely new process, I will ask ChatGPT to give me suggestions on how to document a specific process. The second way is to basically copy and paste the existing documentation that we have and ask ChatGPT to rewrite it and also ask suggestions for improvements. So the fourth thing that ChatGPT helps me with is creating contracts. When I download templates online, there's still a bunch of things that I have to edit. So it actually takes me more time than I want. It's easier and faster for me to type all of the details that I want to be included in the contract. And then I ask ChatGPT to write a contract and make sure to follow best practices. Of course, I may withhold some private information there, and then I will just edit that later on when I'm finalizing the contract. Once I have the final draft of the contract, then I can talk to a lawyer and make sure that everything is okay. The last thing that I use ChatGPT for is to help me analyze the data. So for example, I'm running an SEO project where we are pulling data from different sources. I have them all in Google Sheets, but sometimes it can be overwhelming to look at them and identify the trends in the data. Once your data is in ChatGPT, now ChatGPT can help analyze the data for you. I can ask questions like, what are the increasing or decreasing trends in our results? or provide suggestions on how we can improve our results. ChatGPT will actually be very honest and tell you what it can only provide you. So for example, if it needs more data, it would suggest that you need more data from other sources. And the last thing that I do around analyzing data is I can tell ChatGPT to write an email summary of the data that we have for a certain campaign. And that way I can send everyone involved a report that's so easy to read and with a link to the original Google data sheet. Those are the five creative ways I've been using ChatGPT as a project manager. Make sure to read the full blog post. We've linked them in the video below. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, share this with your other project manager friends, and make sure to subscribe to our channel. My name is Irene Chan, and I'll see you in the next video.